Hello everybody and welcome back to the Rock and Reaction Rollers where we react to music that we grew up with from the 60s to the 90s and my name is Tammy. It's Sunday night and we're doing the number one song of 1995 and I think I found, um, or for this year anyway, I found the chart um, of the top 10 of 1995, one that's more like down our lines of music I think. Um, last couple years been kind of popish and not really where I was at that point but we are getting to the point 1995 where I was kind of slowing down with rock and roll a little bit too and a lot of these songs I don't know but I do know the number one song of 1995 it's not a song I've heard a whole lot of because like I said wasn't listening to a whole lot of rock and roll at this time but I have heard this song I've just never really you know listened to the words or anything to it so a while ago I was out there checking on it and kind of listened to the song and I was watching the video with it which I will not be able to put on here um, so I'm not going to try but um, it was kind of a downer song you know I mean you could take it a lot of different ways and whatever it's one of those songs that you could take um, the meaning you know for whatever it however it applies to your life and really any song you can do that with but after reading about it and all it's one it's actually a song that um, started out as a tragedy that turned into a really beautiful um, thing that um, happened from a tragic um, situation so we're gonna just get right to the song and after we do the song we'll talk about it for a little bit and then we'll do the list from 1 to 10 of the number one 1 to 10 songs um, top songs of 1995 and then we'll do a second video with fun facts and serious facts of 1995 so be sure to check in on that afterwards so I'm going to mention this first too before we get to the song so I don't do it so much at the end. Um, just a couple things out there. I'm trying to get a PayPal set up for the membership. I've got it set up but there's a couple things that won't work on there because I don't have any service, enough service in my house. So I'm going to have to do it when I go to town tomorrow. So hopefully I'll have PayPal set up tomorrow evening. But also I want some people out there to know, you know, there's we have a lot of you on the channel that, um, you know, don't don't quit the channel or anything because you may not be able to offer a membership or anything like that. I don't want any of you all to do that. But I've already had a, a couple people that have thrown in memberships for other people. So I, what, what I want you all to do is, um, you know, I keep everything quiet. I'm not going to mention any names one way or the other, who gives or who doesn't. But if you are having rough times or whatever, or it's just not in your budget to give, but you really want to become a member because you love the channel or whatever and you're here every day I would hate for you not to become a member for that reason and these people think the same way so like I said they give extra for people like you so if you can shoot me an email let me know that you're someone that would like to um, have the membership um, but I'm unable to pay at this time or whatever we'll get we'll make sure you get to be a member on here so and thanks to those people who have given the extra um, I think that's just amazing I've got a bunch of amazing people on this channel <laughs> I love you all you're all great you know you're mature you're just everybody's just with it you're all cool I dig y'all and I'm just digging this music so I'm gonna hush up for now but I do want to say beforehand I'm gonna go on and say the rest be sure to subscribe to the channel be sure to consider becoming a member don't let anything stop you know we want you here so um, just uh, be sure just just for you know we're just having a little fun with it here um, and um, got some things some tokens of appreciation to send out to for those who have given and and that kind of thing but we're just having a little fun so I don't want anybody to feel out of the ordinary but I'm going to shut up now and we're going to get to the song. We're going to do the number one song of 1995, which is the song Lightning Crashes by the band Live, I think is how you pronounce it. Now, if I'm wrong, someone let me know. But I thought, you know, Live and Live are both spelt the exact same. So I wasn't sure how it was pronounced. But I think as a band, it sounds better as Live. And I think maybe especially because of this song but then I really don't know so someone let me know if I'm pronouncing the group wrong but I think it's live um, and so we're doing the number one song in 1995 lightning crashes by live and we're just gonna get to it now <laughs> Mother cries 
what this song reminds me of and I know it's not this band that sings it the song that I'm that sounds very familiar to this song but I know this one too I've known it and I think just from listening to it and kind of my reaction to um, it now and maybe it's because I read a little bit about it I, it kind of just reminds me maybe of the circle of life kind of thing and I think that's basically what it's trying to say here um, that's what you know it's about but there is a story that goes along with it but I am going to say this much first. Um, Live or Live um, is, is an American rock band. And this song came off of their third album, which sold 8 million copies in the U.S. And it stayed at number one for 10 consecutive weeks on the Billboard Hot Mainstream Rock Track chart. And the album it came off of is called Throwing Copper. And that's their third album. And like I said, this is a song where a tragedy turns into something beautiful or good for someone. And um, we will talk more about that when we get finished with the song. Again, this song was released in 1994, but it was the number one song of 1995, Lightning Crashes by Liv.
great song, really it is, and it is one, like I said, that I do remember, and um, it's a nice song, and I really hadn't really paid a whole lot of attention to it, and I think it was more just the time. At that time, I was still wanting to listen to my 60s, 70s, and 80s music, and it was just hard for me to move on with rock and roll, it was, and especially when it got to this point. Um, but there were a few groups that I did like and that I still do, and this is a new one that I like. I don't know what else they play. I'm going to have to go check them out, but I believe they're called Live, and um, so we're just going to um, read off the top ten songs here um, of 1995. Number one was Listening, or Listening, Lightning Crashes by Live. Um, number two is Better Man by Pearl Jam. Number three is When I Come Around by Green Day. Number four is Wonderwall by Oasis. Number five, 1979 by The Smashing Pumpkins. Number six, December by Collective Soul. Number seven, Name by The Goo Goo Dolls. Number eight, In the Meantime by Space Hog. Number nine, I Got ID by Pearl Jam. And number 10, Hold Me, Thrill Me, Kiss Me, Kill Me by YouTube. <laughs> Go check that one out too. But anyway, um, I've skipped over what the song was about, so we're going to go backwards now. I needed to read that stuff off after I read about the song, so we're just doing it the other way around. But this is a, a, a really, it's an amazing song here. Um, let's see, and this, this story is kind of being told by Barb, which you're going to learn who she is, her brother-in-law, Corey, who told Song Facts this story. Um, and it just says that uh, Ed, I'm going to mess this up, Ed Kowalsik, which is the lead singer of this group Live, doesn't like to talk about the meaning of this song. But it says this band dedicated this song to Barbara Lewis, one of their high school friends who was killed from, who was killed from a fleeing armed robber around the time that this song was written. And this song is speaking about the circle of life, but how Barb's life gave new life to many. Okay, and then it says, um, the lyrics are constantly misunderstood in this song, and especially if you watch the video, because the way it starts out, you're kind of like, what? <laughs> um, but no, if you put your own meaning to it or what they're saying it's about here, I think the video kind of sets it off a little bit. Uh, the lyrics are constantly misunderstood. S is, Ed is speaking to the circle of life, but specifically to how Barb's life gave new life to many. Barb donated several organs, including her heart. And it says, brother-in-law also says, our family has become close with the most genuine and caring man who is still alive today, over 10 years later, who has Barb's heart beating in his chest. Lightning crashes, literally literally lives on. Wow. So I don't know if that's the lead singer that got the heart. I don't think so. I don't think that's what he's saying, but I don't know, because Ed doesn't like to talk about the meaning of the song, but it says our family member, and this is a brother-in-law of of uh, Barb. So she donated her organs and her beautiful heart and soul and everything was passed on to someone else. It's amazing when people can do things like that, I think. But anyway, that was our number one song of 1995. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I did. I did, really. And um, so be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to consider coming a member. Be sure to hit like underneath that video. And be sure to tell those people that you love that you love each and every day. We're going to do one more video tonight, Sunday night. Everybody's got a week ahead of them. Lots of you might be retired, lucky guys and girls. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm counting down the days. Um, but anyway, um, we're going to do the fun and serious facts after this video. So you can watch it in the morning if you're too tired tonight. But um, anyway, peace out.